If you've got a nice big tax refund, the difficult part sometimes can be figuring out how to spend it appropriately. See, Chris Berg Foundation. Uh, appropriately. <laughs> Personal finance educator Hannah Sorensen is here to talk about some smart ways to put your refund to work. Welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Thanks Happy Friday. Me. Happy Friday the 13th. I think let's start with this. A lot of people, they get this check from the government like, oh my gosh, look at all this. But it, it's really their own money. The government's just, so let's start with maybe you don't really want a giant tax refund, right? Really, it is a return of your own dollars. It means that you are having a little bit too much withheld so that you get that back at the end of the year. Uh, so you might want to look at how much are you having withheld from your checks? Should you adjust that? So maybe throughout the year, you're not having quite so much withheld and decide, are you okay not getting that refund at the end Which of the year? Which thus means I've got more money every two weeks rather than getting a big check at the end of the year, right? Correct. Okay. But it's a fine balance because on the other hand, you don't want to have to pay in a ton either. Yeah. And that can happen pretty easily too, is not having <clears throat> enough withheld and then owing at the end of the year. So you want to make sure then you are budgeting for that and withholding more on your own in case that does happen. Okay, so most people are pretty excited when they find out they're going to, whether it's $500, $5,000, do you have some suggestions for what people should do if they do get a refund? First, to have a plan for it. Make sure that when you're receiving that check, you think, what should I do with this? Otherwise, it's easy to spend it and really not have a purpose for it. So one thing to consider is if you have debt, look at paying that off first. It's a great way that you're going to receive maybe a larger amount of money. It might be $2,000 that you can put towards paying off that debt. Or if you're trying to work towards savings for an emergency fund, add that towards that emergency fund to help grow that. So some of those just really basic financial things that put you on a good foundation. What about like a trip to Maui? Saving for a trip. Maybe it <laughs> might not be Maui. All right. But saving for a trip is a great goal. <clears throat> Think about what are those goals that you do have? It can help you move towards that. Again, if you have a plan, looking at that longer term goal, how can you use it for that? And starting a, a plan for saving. I think all of us are not saving as much as we should. It, how much should you put into savings? And could you put a little bit into savings and maybe pay something off? Can you split up the, the amount that you're getting back? It's a great idea to split it. You can always use a little bit for fun, a little bit for the practical or basic things. Just in an emergency fund, you want to have three to six months of your living expenses. So if you were laid off, if you have any unexpected health issues that come up where you can't work, you still want to be able to pay those monthly bills. And then just having savings for those things that come up. You know, you think of if you need tires, doctor appointments, any of those just regular things that do happen each month. They always happen and you're never ready for them. Never. You had a, a list of four things and number four was invest in your home. What do yeah. you mean by that? So sometimes our houses need updates that can help make them more efficient. Maybe you need new windows or a more efficient furnace or air conditioner, some of those appliances that can cost us less if we put that investment into them. It could be something like a new front door. You feel that leak of the winter air around mm -hmm. that and making those solid investments too that maybe if you're going to move in a few years help increase the value of your home. So making wise choices with those dollars so they help you in the future. Okay, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, I have a question because I've been asking people about this. Should you readdress how much money you are having taken out with uh, looking forward to the next tax season after changes were made mm -hmm. by lawmakers? If you can help us break down what we should look at. We'll do that right after the